All right, I've been slacking, man. I get it. I know uh, a lot of people who have been watching my videos, they're really into that Elden Ring. I, uh, I'm i in the process of overhauling Elden Ring and making it into Berserk. But that's just one of my projects. I have many projects that I'm juggling here. And uh, I gave my word that I would get through this uh, entire NBC2 roster from A to Z modifying the uh the idols the crouch and some of the attack animations where need be from the characters so i'm going to move forward with this project in the future i may uh yeah i may decide to to drop some more elder ring stuff i noticed that um oddly people like it all right so the last character i worked on or the last video i posted was for strider hear you and i'm gonna move over here Tweaks I made for Strider Hear You was I tweaked his idol. He's got a physics drop now for his hair. He's got a physics drop for the belts on his arms. And he has a physics drop for his pants and belt. Uh, I'll just play it. And also I added a blinking animation because he's a human being and like people blink. So I'll just click play. That's what it looks like. Oh, and apparently in between videos, I also added in like a a breathing animation for his body in its entirety he's got like a combat more more bouncy combat pose now that looks really good i know in the default game he's just static and the only thing that moves on him is his hair is is really the default idol for nbc2 strider hear you is pretty bad but there you go there's a there's an overhaul for his crouch the tweaks that i made for his crouch he was one of the um the dreaded characters that had no movement when he crouched you know, the only thing he had was like kind of a wind blowing effect in his hair and that was it and it was pretty it's pretty noticeable if you you understand animation the things i added to him he now has a bounce to his animation for his upper torso he's got a physics drop for his hair he's got i think i did a physics drop for the belt and i think he has a blinking animation too i'm just gonna play it out yeah he does that's what it looks like and i didn't even mention the uh the physics drop there on his his uh his uh, pant leg. I'm rewinding the uh the, the animation. By the way, I want to play it again. Wow. Watch his eyes. He's got a blink too that he does. Yep. And it's it's well spread out too. It's not like he doesn't blink every breath he makes. And that's pretty awesome. I finally got around to muffling my microphone too, so that I'm not blowing in it and it's not making a uh, pause, but so that I'm not making like that crazy, annoying noise that it makes. When it goes, you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty annoying. All right, so there was the crouch, and there was the uh, the idle animation for Strider. That was what I did in the last video. Uh, what I'm currently working on, I tried to create a video for this already, and the 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 my best friend called, so I had to I had to get off the phone, talk to my best friend, see what, what was up with him, and we uh he came over and we hung out, so I, I had to cut the video short. But then I ended up deleting the video just because I'm I'm like a happy dopey dude. So I'm gonna load up Thanos. I'll just tell you the tweaks that I made to Thanos in the uh the previous video that I didn't upload. And then I'll uh I'll add on whatever I need to add here. So for his idol, I immediately noticed in NBC2, Thanos does not have eyes, which was kind of weird. I could have sworn he has red eyes. I could be wrong, but I could have sworn in the comics, and I'm a comic buff. But I could I could have sworn that Thanos has red eyes, and I noticed the NBC two is just pitch black, and uh, it's it's kind of jarring. Um, for his idol here, there's not much I could have moved. Um, I couldn't do a physics drop on his chest because of the structure of his body. He doesn't have uh bulky or large pectoral muscles. I couldn't do a physics drop for any of the cloth on it or the material on his armor because it's freaking armor and spandex like everything looks very well fastened onto the character so the most i could do was i added a physics drop for the the lower portion of his shirt right above like his hamstring that that little uh task piece that's hanging here i put a physics drop right there and i think that's all i did i'm gonna play it yeah that's all i did he just got a very minute physics drop right here and then his animation to me, in my opinion, is very fluid. It's a good animation. So there's there's nothing much to tweak. I'll admit in the future, I may actually add eyes onto all of the Thanos sprites. Because this is kind of, I don't fully understand it. 
I might be missing something. Maybe in the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet saga in the comic books, maybe his eyes do look like this. I don't know. Alright, for his crouch, I didn't get around to fully tweaking the crouch yet. The only thing I could get done for the crouch specifically is I made a physics drop for the fabric, same fabric right over his thighs. And I'm pretty sure NBC2 Thanos isn't animated. It's set on one frame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to bring this to life. So I, I I don't even remember what frames I made. Yeah. So there's a physics drop there, and um, where's my initial? So the initial frame is 11:3. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna uh move forward and I'm just gonna uh bring this to life. I'm gonna make a duplicate. I'm gonna name the duplicate triple four because the last thing I just looked at here was triple three. So and I work on threes, which is just it means triple digit for the index um, number, which is this. So I'm I'm just gonna open this up, zoom in here, and I'm just gonna proceed to find a way to animate this. Um, thinking low key, I, I think I already started animating this dude. Starting to get deja vu here. There's three. Is that moving? Yeah, that is moving. I already started animating it. Two, three. This is the duplicate I just made. I'm I'll delete this duplicate. It looks like I already started. I just didn't plug it in. So I started animating Thanos already. And it looks like I already threw some frames together. Here's the initial frame. Here's the second frame I made, which is a very slight movement. And then what is this? This is the physics drop. So I made one frame. Awesome. I guess this gives me somewhat of a template or a blueprint for what I'm trying to do here. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna run off the heels of this last frame I made, which is this triple three. I'm gonna duplicate this triple three. I'm gonna name this triple three triple four. And then I'm going to edit this. So I'll just pick up where I left off. Uh I wanna shift, I'm gonna shift this torso. I'm gonna snag all this. Control C, Control V, tap down arrow, jump back in the frame, go on the back layer or the bottom layer over here. I'm going to blow the eraser up about eight points, and I'm just going to trim behind the upper torso because I know for a fact I don't need any of this stuff back here. So after I do that, I'll go back to the top frame. I'll trim around the part that I actually shifted. Which is really his uh his forearm and stuff, his his upper his his chest forearm etc. I'm just trimming around. I have to carefully do this too, because one one slip and it's a wrap. Like this is not gonna look good. I'm saying that from experience too. Slightest mistake, and it's all over, man. You need like super art brain to do this stuff. I call it art brain. It's just with artistic skill. And I'm talking about real artistic skill, not uh, whatever. People people name a lot of stuff art that I don't think is art. I'm not gonna open that bag of worms. All right, so I'm gonna shrink the eraser down, put it about three, and then I'm going to carefully, again, trim the things I don't want to shift, which is this pouch, this odd looking pouch here. Get the top of his thigh. I want his fist to shift. That outer fist, his left, your right, I want that to shift. So I'm going to leave that alone. Alright, I'm going back to the top layer. I'm snagging whatever color this orange is. I'm going to put it back right there. Because it looks like I deleted it at uh, some point or whatever. Okay, and that should be it. That's a, a shift downward that I did for his upper torso. Looks good to me. I'm going to quickly blow the eraser up though, just for artifacting. And I'm going to trim everything below them. Just because I'm paranoid. Alright. I'm going to save it. Close it. Reopen it. Let's do some more shifting here. Um, I think I want to shift his arm. I'm going to shift his arm. So I want this part of his arm to, to kind of go outward. 
so I'm going to control C control V tap the left key hit the selector tool hit the screen take my eraser and I'm going to trim the outer part of his arm basically anything I'm not moving I'm trimming okay notice I got the big boy eraser too did I do the shift over for the arm? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I'll just keep trimming from here. I have to make sure sometimes my memory. My memory is terrible sometimes. Oh man, I'm kind of stoked. I um I don't know why people doubt me, but I'm gonna I'm finishing the Berserk manga and I'm gonna animate it. I'm gonna make an animated movie that finishes off Kintaro uh Miyuta's Berserk and uh that I don't need support on, like on YouTube. Like if you guys don't show love to me for that project, I do not care because I'm getting that done regardless. It's just um when you guys show support on YouTube, I'm talking to people that are my best friend, of course. The people that that do show support on YouTube or whatever, you increase your chances of receiving whatever I make. You guys notice whenever I create something, if you don't show love. Or if I, th I think you guys are being cynical or disrespectful or something, I'll just stop releasing videos for the project and you guys just miss out. Meanwhile, I'm enjoying, you know, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. I'm having fun, dude. I've got all these rebuilds of video games and stuff, like dope projects and stuff. And you guys are just left soaking and hating. So you got to stop that, basically, that's what I'm saying. Show love. Show love any way you can. Spread the word. Uh, I don't care if you like the video. I have it turned off. I can't even see how many people like my videos. Cause I, I just don't care. I don't like commenting either. I don't. I, I just don't care to talk to anybody. You know, my purpose for my channel in general is just to um. I just want to make art. I just want to make my videos. You know, release my videos, and that's pretty much it. I've always been this way though, in fairness. I'm pretty I've always been artsy farty first and foremost. But I've always been to myself, you know. I'm a people person. I love people. But in that same breath, I'm not like um I don't need I don't need approval or attention, you know. I I've never been in a, an attention hall. If that makes sense. I'm gonna save this up. Close it, reopen it. Uh I gotta I have to do some shift work. On his fist too, this fist right here though, I notice this doesn't move at all, dude. I was actually thinking to move it in. Nah, I'm, I'll just shift it up. Control C, Control V, tap the up arrow. Take the selector box, click on the screen, hit the bottom layer, clear out everything behind what I'm shifting, which is his fist, like this. Then I'm going to get back on the top layer. I specifically just hit the bottom because of the shape of his fist. There's nothing up top I need to trim on the bottom layer. Everything that will show on the bottom layer will, will protrude from the bottom of the things that I'm shifting. I'm on the top layer. I'm taking the eraser and I'm actually erasing the things that I'm not, not shifting here. Which is his thigh right here. Part of his abdomen, really his belt. His chest has to stay um, in place I think I trimmed too much right there I felt that yeah I just need to go a little bit lower right here like so okay yeah again for the record I don't recommend editing sprites at all to anybody unless you are uh, artistic because if you're not artistic you don't have like drawing skills it, this is a nightmare, dude. This is like the hardest thing I've ever done, just about. Hey, instead of shifting his entire... Loki, I wonder if I could just shift his fist. No, it's too late. Save it. <laughs> Close it. Alright, it's good. <laughs> Alright, so that's the next frame there. That I think that's my second frame for the, uh, the shifting or the animation there. So what I'm going to do, and I think it was one, two... Yeah, he's so two frames downward. I think his upper torso just moved. I think I can afford three. So what I'm going to do here is create a triple five 
And the triple five might actually low key be kind of special here. Because what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to shift down just his upper torso. No, no hands, no arms included, just the torso part here. And I'm going to need you to work with me because this is going to seem a little crazy looking. But, like I always say, trust me, there's a method to my madness. Every decision I make, you can trust me to be honest. And you can also trust me to do something magical. Alright, so I'm deleting everything around this. Um... I don't want this fist to move. I want this fist to stay still. So I'm, I'm gonna try my best here to get this fist. I'm just deleting everything that looks like it would be his fist here. And come on, come on. Okay, because I don't want it moving. I don't want it moving at all. Well, maybe the back of his arm, I'll let it move. But the rest, no, I don't want nothing smooth. Okay. I think that looks good. Delete all this stuff down here. Make sure there's no artifact in the blah blah blah. Okay, we got the upper body shifting downward a little bit. Make sure I don't have a fist in here. Okay, so I'm going to hit the back layer or the lower layer and I'm going to delete everything behind the part of the torso that I just shifted downward like this. Okay, not sure how far this goes. Okay, just double checking. I do that sometimes. All right, save it. I'm gonna close it. Okay, and there's another frame down. And then uh, after that, I think what I could do is because I need him to go back. I need I need him to go back into the original motion that he was in. So I'm going to make another frame here. And this is going to be what I call actually. Never mind. I don't have to do that. Yeah, I don't have to do that. Take that back. Um. Shoot, man. I think that's it. Actually, I want more movement, though. Yeah, let me spoil. I'm. I'm gonna spoil myself here. I'm gonna make a special frame call it triple six I just made a duplicate by the way I'm gonna open up this duplicate in the sprite editor I'm going to do some more shift work man I want some more movement I'm gonna control C control V tap the down arrow and I'm just shifting his uh his upper body down just a little more when I say his upper body I'm talking about his upper body not his upper torso but I'm shifting his upper body down some more just a little bit Specifically for this frame. What I'm doing here is I'm trimming everything that I don't want to shift down. Which I'm sure you'll understand. You'll get it when it's uh, complete. Just enjoy the pretty colors, folks. Okay. I know my Brody's watching this. My best friend, though. Okay, uh, not sure if I want this to, you know what, screw it, we, we just keep it like that, I gotta stop saying screw it, I'm not sure if screw it is like bad, you know, you know how like kind of like crap, crap means poopy, but crap is like technically, it's very close to a curse word, so it's something I've, I've been trying to like train myself to like not say, I'm not sure if that applies to other stuff too. Okay, so there's a full shift down there, right? Um, I got his kneecap because his kneecap is bone. I don't want to shift any of the knee there. And also his foot because your your foot can't. No, it would, it would look terrible if his foot shifted. So now I'm on the back layer here. I'm up top and I'm just deleting everything behind it. Like so. All right. I'm getting, uh, I'm going to shrink this down. That's dangerous. Alright, I shrunk the eraser down. Let's do three to three points. Now I delete behind the kneecap. I'll show you why this is dangerous too. Cause right here, see it? I hit on the other layer. 
so it's it's easy for me. I got I got bird brain sometimes, so I'll forget. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, save that bad boy. Close it out. Okay, I just shifted his entire torso down. Uh, I know he wants some head movement. I kind of want some head movement here. Let's uh. I wonder if I can move his head with this frame. Nope, let's make another frame. I don't care. This is okay. Thanos is very frame heavy, but whatever, man. Plus, I don't have time to think. I just have time to work. <laughs> control C, Control V, tap down, shifting his head downward. Take the eraser. Make sure I got a big eraser here. I'm just trim around his face. Just basically getting rid of anything I don't, or rather, I'm not trying to shift. That's fine. Loki, I kind of wanted that that part of the neck. It's all good. It's all good. It's crazy, man. This is crazy. I did down the top layer, so I hit the back layer now, and I just trim everything, get rid of anything behind the the part that I, I moved down, and that should be it. I don't have to double check it. I trust myself, but I will hit the top layer. Make sure there's no artifacting. Or no straight pixels okay I'll save it I trust myself here so there's a little bit of head movement there um dang seven okay so I'm gonna save them all jump over to the animation open up the animation to save so it'll be three to seven so I'm gonna copy this last or rather this first prep frame I'm gonna take this prep frame and I'm gonna plug this in as my new idol so what I'm going to do, I didn't do a physics drop. What did I physics drop? The prep frames. Okay, so the prep, two and two, triple two and triple one. So 11 comma triple two and 11 comma triple one. Those are my physics drops, right? And then 11 comma three is my initial idle or the default idle that uh, the NBC2 developers use for Thanos. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the character to life. So I'm going to start plugging in my frames that I just created. So it'd be three, four, and I think it goes all the way to seven, five, six, seven. And then I go backwards so that I can get back to the initial frame. I just copy and paste it, the uh the triple three. It's not gonna be on threes in time. Three three is way too fast, by the way. I'll do I usually do six, I'll do five though. Five is gonna be really fast. So I'll do five frames out of a second, which is very fast. But it might look good, so I already have the loop start plug. I was doing this um uh, in between videos when I was working on Thanos I plugged in the loop start loop start just means hey play everything under this and ignore what's above it so basically all of this is gonna repeat over and over none of this will it'll play one this literally plays once so I'm gonna apply I'm gonna close and then click play there we go so the animation changes that I made here I made a physics drop for the cloth right here above his thighs because that's the only thing technically on this armor and spandex that can have movement and then I also brought the animation for Thanos's crouch fully to life so I'm going to play it again there you go I have a fully animated Thanos crouch now this is going to look so crazy in game dude in between videos I might make personal tweaks for anything that I think jars me or that could use improvement I could see yeah, I can actually see one thing that I'm I'm going to Yeah, I'm gonna have to tweak. Low key, I wonder if I can do it now. Let's see if I can do it now. I'm gonna copy this right here. Cause this is jarring me a little bit. I'm gonna click the over arrow. Yeah, that's jarring me. I'm gonna open up the frame. I'm gonna paste it right over it. And I'm gonna take the eraser and I'm gonna delete the part I don't need, which is the chin. 
okay, I think I went too far there. Like this. Okay. And I'm going to save it. I think that's it. Save it. Close it. Let's see what that looks like. Problem fixed. No more uh, weird moving armor part right there under his head. Again, anything else that I think I need to tweak, I'll tweak later or in between videos. But there you go. Thanos is fully animated now. So dope. God bless.